Angelique, aka Big Ange. To my right here is the B Shook. And to my left, I have Bay Milla, just kidding, Jamila <laughs> in the house. Jamila. Before we get started, let you know where you guys can find us. You can find me at, what is my, Big Ange 615 underscore. You can find me at Vitamin B, B's a boy underscore. You can find me at Jamila the Journalist. My name is J O M I L L A. Okay, well, before we get started, I do want to get us a bottle pop, okay? All right. Yeah. Okay. I have a screw top, so. Because <laughs> uh, it's the first episode, so we got to celebrate. Of course. Now, if this pops everywhere, we're going to have a problem. Because it was rolling in my car, so. <laughs> yeah. One, two. That way. Oh, I thought it was Tell me when. Actually, don't even worry about it. Right. I'm just gonna go. It's fine. I'm a grown woman. I can handle it. Okay, good. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, before we get started, I would love to say shout out to The Artificial. Thank you so much for allowing us to use your space. Everyone go to The Artificial and Makeup? Makeup and Photo. Boom. See? There you go. Got it. <laughs> for everything that you need. Art wise, your makeup, your photo shoots, everything. She has it. Come find her. Okay. <laughs> Let me get me a glass poured up here before we get started. And yeah, okay. First thing I'm, oh yeah, I guess we should cheers. cheers. Well, cheers. let's cheers. Yay, to, okay. to the first. That's cute. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing we want to do is dive into some DMs. So if any of you have had any crazy DM stories that you all want to share, please let us know at The Grown Woman Podcast. You can DM us and let us know. Either one of y'all got some DMs y'all want to share? Um, let's see. <laughs> I just looked. So I've had some crazy ones, but this one was most recently. And it says, when we gonna hang out again so the back story is this person and i um went somewhere maybe like two years ago two ten ten it wasn't even ten. like anything oh. serious it was just like hey we should meet up here for lunch cool um that was it. Okay. Uh, so now, when we gonna hang out again? Um, Dang, ten years. Okay, you got them like that. Come on, that's right. right. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, kind of wanted. I don't. I hate that when we gonna hang out oh, again. The grammar was horrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did he oh, gonna say hello first? He no. Was when we gonna hang out again? <laughs> that was it. We're not gonna uh, uh, hang out. Uh, then another one was a terrible slur. Okay. W Y A. Pull up at Linux. That's when I was in Atlanta. Where you at? Okay. Pull up at Linux. <laughs> I didn't respond to that one. I was gonna say, what? What? Could you? Cause I'm 31. I'm a grown woman. You yeah. uh, know. Okay. You gonna approach me like? Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's crazy. I think the most crazy DM I got, which I was telling y'all earlier, like I posted a video of me dancing cute on Instagram. And I guess this like twerking, booty twerking page came on my, my DMs. It was like, nice video, send us your twerk videos. I was like, no, like, first of all, I didn't tag, I didn't hashtag like twerk right. or anything like that. So I'm like, you just out here like looking for girls. Literally, you just dancing? Like, like that's so weird. Page, like, what are you Instagram doing? Instagram police. Yeah. I don't know. It was very real. Thing for real. real. Right. Maybe a real thing. <laughs> for real. It, it gave me a good laugh, though. I was just like, wow. I wonder how often this actually works. Look at people you actually see. Okay, just twerking. Yeah. What are you talking about? I'm a grown woman, so I will not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No judgment to people who do, you know, send pictures, but I just, that wasn't for me. I was there even twerking. Is there for twerking? Because I'm 31 and. No, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm just back in the day, day. GCC days, if y'all remember those, were like TBT. Of so, course. And we was twerking then. Yeah. Well, we were slow. We were slow. slow I don't remember. I don't remember. I said, that's throwback. You know, throwback. I know, but I thought you meant real days. No. So I feel like my generation, well, no. 
Free Meek was the generation. But after that, we were pee popping in the seventh grade. We were really twerking. Yeah. Um, so that's like about. Um, I also get I was twenty years of twerking. Time, so I also get it's a lot of people um, trying to reach out to me and my demons like on my business pages, like color TV or mm -hmm. I'm like that's really that's great. Really they trying it though. Yeah. They trying it like that. Why not just go to my So does Facebook count? Because I'm older. <laughs> so I get I am. Girl, I am. <laughs> so I get I am. So I am. I am. I am. I am. I've That's had preachers in my I am. Preachers. And then we're trying to save my soul. Married men. I mean, preachers need love too. Mm. That's true. So we I do want to be a first lady type. <laughs> you do. You could be. With this outfit on, but uh. <laughs> millennial do. first lady type of. Okay, well, maybe not. <laughs> Moving on there. Well, thank you. I'm going to be faster. <laughs> well, ladies, what's our topic for today? What are we talking about? Cuffin season! Yes, it's that time. Up. It's November. It's cuffing season time. And that's, I feel like November is like when cuffing season officially starts. You know, it gets a little colder outside. Sometimes seasonal depression kicks in. Feel a little more lonely you know the holidays are coming up mm. you want to have somebody there so your nagging auntie ain't asking you about your relationship that right look, you gonna get married look here damn i brought a look right here you go <laughs> so yes yeah, cuffing season i think usually lasts from like what we say november to about they yeah, all said valentine's yeah, day yeah which is like true was. i think me and my boyfriend we started talking like in october and i feel like we lasted so after valentine's day so i feel like your relationship lasts after march then you're pretty good like for wait like y'all got together officially we after? started talking and then we ended up get together we got i guess you could say we never had like a official date okay but we did like once he planned a trip for us like mm -hmm. a vacation for us mm -hmm. and april was like oh yeah you serious yeah. okay you plan okay. Ahead. I've been single for about eight years uh are you sure i'm sure i was 25 single, single, like, single. no i've dated okay. but okay. the last relationship okay. was like, <laughs> I, was still, I was never in all these like a dating days. i was never like cuffed so um <laughs> so let's see the last relationship i broke up with him i guess the beginning of cuffing season and for my birthday which is november i went out of town so the whole christmas Oh, that I was by myself. Um, maybe two years ago, I spent a December with the guy. Like, they a lot of gifts. Right. And the family got into it all those spades games. So I don't really know if I'm. Their family? It's their, his family. I'm like, my family don't do that. We don't do that. Right. So. But let's see. I pulled up our horoscopes for cuffing season. Okay. So let's see, we have Big Inch, 615, who's Aries. Yes, I Come am. Come in, Reed. You go, Aries. <laughs> okay. Uh, your cuffing season horoscope reads, the Aries full moon on October 13th forces you to put your needs first when it comes on love. Uh -huh. Don't despair. This doesn't mean doom and gloom will come your way, only that you know what you want from a partner and are aware of your needs in a relationship. Mm. Work will be at a high starting December 3rd when Jupiter enters Capricorn. Mm. You'll be more focused on being a baller for yourself than for anyone else. Okay. However, however, Tama, the lunar eclipse in Cancer on January the 11th, followed by Mercury, Saturn, and Pluto's alignment on January 12th, okay. allows you to <laughs> canoodle. With your one and only while you both take us on an us versus the world type of vibe. Yes. Come on, yes. Yes. Come Nothing on. can Come on. and Come will on. interfere with your relationship though. It's solid as a rock. Solid. Solid, solid as a rock. <laughs> okay, and we have... <laughs> that was horrible. That was not horrible. <laughs> So let's get to my single self, but I'm claiming it this cup. Okay. There you go. Put it out there. Put it out there. Okay. okay. This is your year. Yes. It says, yes. cupping season starts out strong as tender Venus softens your rough exterior on November 1st. 
That's coming up. Yeah, so that, does that mean it's already somebody I'm talking to or I'm going to meet somebody then? Maybe. You don't have any prospects yet? Uh, damn. I'm just saying. Okay, so Venus and Neptune square off <laughs> on November 4th. Say, okay, Venus and Neptune square off Sorry. on November 14th. <laughs> Exposing delusions in relationships. Oh shit! My cuffing season went you delusion. from yeah. good <laughs> to what the hell yeah. in thirteen days. Okay, you'll feel shook. Is that something because my name is in it? I don't know. And confused by the person you're involved with as their actions will expose not so great behavior Whoa. that clashes with your high morals. We don't have this to why, this. This is why I say single. Okay, November twenty fourth will give you the confidence to swipe right on Tinder. Let me create one, okay? Because you're going to bring somebody to the Thanksgiving dinner. But you may not <laughs> find... Hold on, hold on. But it says, but you may not find a BB who's on par with your intelligence. Mm. It's like I got to get a damn dummy. Until <laughs> Gemini, <laughs> full, Gemini full moon on December 12th. <laughs> what you'll come to learn by the lunar eclipse on January 10th okay. is that you are simply in love with love. Not the person sleeping next to you. Wow. wow. This may bring your partner heartbreak, but also teach you to never settle in the future. Yeah. Yeah. You better not. Sure you wait. I kind of feel better not settle. You're, like, <laughs> you're right. Kind of sad. That was like a whole. Gosh. gosh. Yours is kind of sad, sis. Lonely. But yeah. just be aware of that, though, when you do meet people. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it won't be so hard on them. So I, maybe I'm not gonna go on Tinder. Yeah, you got the upper hand now because you know. Because you know. Okay. But you can't escape fate. But anyway, okay. Uh, Jimmy, maybe you early. said you're a Pisces, right? Yes. Okay. A friendship has the possibility to turn into a full-blown romance. Mm -hmm. If you play your cards right during the dreamy Saturn and Neptune connection on November 8th, mm -hmm. you'll be clear with your desires November 27th when Neptune turns direct after moonwalking since June 21st. Moonwalking. Michael Jackson. Okay. You won't be able to hide or avoid your emotions towards your FWB. Huh? I don't know. FWB. Friends with benefits. Friends ah, with benefits. Yeah. That's how we do that. During uh, the Capricorn solar eclipse on December 26th. The lunar eclipse on January 10th okay. will make you both level up on your relationship goals. Even if things get testy two days later on the 12th. By January 13th, you'll kiss and make up, which will elevate your partnership by the new moon on February 23rd. And very possibly bring a total commitment during the full moon on March 9th. So she was right. It does go. Yeah. And so March. She's like, I told you. She's like, I told you. So right before spring. Mm. That's bullshit. Spring is a test of relationships. Mm. I, do, but I don't think that applies to me. It applies to all the single Pisces. Because I don't have a friend with benefits. It said that you're going to meet one, though. In the beginning. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, mine is for all the other Sagittarius as well. It's for the December Sagittarius, not the November. Not the November. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay. I mean, hey, mine applies. Yours was good. Yeah, mine was great. Yours was only good. Wait, wait. No, yours was good. Yours is like, I don't know. It was good, though. Mine was just like gloomy and shit, so. It's a pray about it. Yeah. Doesn't mean it is still coming season, so you're straight. You got time to fix it. Um, I'm just gonna have to read that every day so I can, like, don't do this. So you can focus, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like cuffing season as a single person, to be honest. I mean, I'm not a single person now. I ain't trying to get cussed out when I get home. But I like cuffing season as a single That's person. Exciting. It was exciting. I will say this. My favorite Do season. not get in a relationship during cuffing season, people. Holes have not been cut off until February 15th. Swear. And then even. What? Holes get. February 14th. Uh -uh. Hold up, hold up. Holes get Christmas gifts? No, 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 no. Because they hoes. No, because it's just cuffy. Like, y'all know what y'all just talking about. Y'all just. Nighttime buddies. Hold on. I, I might bring you a plate, but you can't come to the so house. So you mean stay single forever because hoes, you don't bring hoes home? Uh uh. No, no, no. I'm saying. I mean, if you get you in a relationship during cuffing season, your person and you may not cut off 
your extra hoes all the way until after Valentine's Day. That's what really, I feel like you cut off before. But you like, should. You should. It's cuffing season. Then, you don't cuff one season. person. Yeah, you cuff one. You should, but no. You so, but no, then. Because you cuff one, but then hang out with a few because what? you never got any of So, everybody's inside what? now and doing cuffing yeah. season. Yes. So, you cuff that one. You have to find that one person who doesn't get on your nerves, who right. maybe cook or maybe Right, and that's the person you hang out with all the time. But You have fun with hoes. You don't cuff hoes. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So they're still having their fun. So they still hanging out. So they're not in cuffing season. Then. Then. You can be a cuffing. They're not participating in cuffing season if they still have hoes. I agree. I, I agree know. with you. I don't. I don't know. I thought y'all do cuffing season. With some hoes. Right. Like, 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 unless you have one person. You have one, person, you have like, one good person. That, and then some hoes. No. Because you do that in some time. No, no, no. They all <laughs> have Everybody's a hoe. Oh but still, you still may have that one kind of person. You narrow it down yeah. to like, okay, we had our summer fun. You're my favorite. Now you get to be with me during the winter time, and that's it. And then back in springtime, it's back right. to back to right. Right. back to toes oh. out, toes out, right? Toes out, toes out. Toes out. Hey. Spring break is a lot of yeah, yeah. Springtime. Oh, it spring break. Right. I just want to put that out there. So what are well, some things that, that you have to consider, like, when choosing a good cuffing partner, like, how tall they are? <laughs> when was their I'm last sorry. relationship? Mm. Or if they're still in a relationship. Yeah. Uh, married or something, right. You're supposed to be peaceful. It's supposed to be, yeah. you know, how skinny a nice they are. little season. Oh. Mm. <laughs> That's, That's a real thing. thing. I'm sorry. Just right, like, more meat. Right, what well, I'm gonna do with you if you bones. I can't cook. I can't cook. So I would say like the environment. Like, is your house, you know, clean? Is it nice? For me, is it if you have kids or not? Yeah, you live by yourself. Well, wait a minute, yeah, wait a minute. their house. Cause cuffing season is all well, about we, we cuddling. Right. Oh. <laughs> I think, I think okay. she's confused on what cuffing I'm season is. No, I'm here. I'm here now. I'm here. <laughs> I was confused for a minute. Yeah, though. that's why we said we can't be covered with hoes. Right. Now she gets We're on the same page. I she still stand by what I said at first. But we're here. Got it. My fault. For me, it's it. also like where you live, not far. If it's like, close. Yeah, close. Because Ooh, to me, Antioch is proximity. far. Antioch is, is far. And it's going to be late and yeah. dark and cold. So I, when you live you in Antioch, I have to pack up a suitcase. Like, warm it up. up. I'm moving in with you if you live in Antioch. Okay. Like, right. <laughs> Toothbrush, change of clothes, and suitcase, and here I am. I'm here. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. I think also like their job. I was going to say that. Like their job. Because if we're going to be in the house, I need to know there's going to be some food. I, food is essential in cuffing season. Also, I need to know your hours you work. I was going to say that. Yeah. Yeah, your That's hours. That's true. If you a night shifter, I can't do nothing with you. It's like you're just limited you're yourself. Yeah. <laughs> right. you you're, not really, <laughs> you're not really even cuffed because at night you're back alone. Exactly. So, yeah. You're sitting here like, right. Right. It's so food, cleanliness, just hold together. I have a body proximity. Pillow. Because you've been single for eight years? Oh my no, God. I just like body pillows. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you gotta ask. Okay. Um, look, oh, so, I'm okay with being single during cuffing season because it means I don't have to buy gifts. Mm. I mean, do you have to buy gifts during cuffing season? Um, I mean, you have you to buy it's Christmas. Christmas. So if you celebrate that, come, so they probably expect something. And then my birthday is in November, gifts. so yeah. you have to give me two gifts. Mm. And, and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad if you don't give me that. So we, we this is what we, we okay. make it. But if we're going by your sign here, it just starts November first. It doesn't matter. You know me, twenty eight days. Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, so does the dinner <laughs> count? I was like, yeah. If it's planned, yeah. A nice dinner. I'll have a dinner card. You know, I'll, I'll take a card, some flowers. There you go. Real simple. And not one flower. I got one flower one time. I'm like, where's the other 11? <laughs> um, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's a thought that counts. I need you to think more. Oh. <laughs> think up to 12. Uh. She's like, oh, okay. Uh. Well, I'm glad I didn't get you one flower. This sounds terrible. You sound. I think something else that you have to keep in mind when cuffing yeah. season is like make sure you guys are on the same page. 
So you know, like after February, like he mm -hmm. may or may not be doing this anymore. I might also, not need he you. got the flu shot. He needs to have a flu shot. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't like this sick? No, that immune system needs to be good. Wait, I don't get the flu shot. Me either. Me either. But I'm just saying he can't because I don't. What? So I don't. I'm not getting the flu because I, I mean, I boost up my immunity. Most likely, if he gets sick, you're gonna get sick too. Cuffing. 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 I need him to boost up on his immunity because. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. I suggest like googling a cuddle buddy application on Google and like yeah. uh, sending that to your partner so you can kind of like establish some things. Hi, how so you're not super. blindsided? Are you okay with how you're Are you okay with this? <laughs> like, how do you sleep? Do you sleep with the fan on? Do you sleep with the TV on? I feel like all these little things are important. Yeah, they are. I mean, do people really get prepared for cuffing season? I, I did. I'm late. I'm kind of like. Corny though, so I definitely sent my boyfriend a cuddle buddle, cuddle buddy application like this time. Like, oh, but y'all are already together. That's cute. I don't know. Like we were together, cute. together, but I definitely did that, and he like fill it out. So we were on like one page. Like, are you cool with kissing? Are you cool with this? Like, that's yeah. cute. I'm corny. I know, but she said it's cute, cute, so I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Eh. I got it with my boyfriend during cuddle season. Cuddle season. Cuffing season. Same thing. Cuddle season, cuffing season. And then it didn't help. I was living in New York, so it's like I definitely want somebody to cuddle with because it's mm. cold as fuck. Oh my god. I could never. That's probably how he did it. You knew what he was doing. Shit. I'll show it to you. Too late now. Mmm. Oh, are there any questions? Yes. Well, okay, since we're talking about cuffing season, the first question I'm going to read is, is cuddling essential to mental health during winter slash cuffing season? Yes and no, uh, because I've never been depressed during cuffing season. So, <laughs> you want to know. Yeah. Um, Everybody's not so I have a lot of single friends, so... We hang out together. Keep your babies. Yeah. yeah. We don't cuddle with people. Keep your mind off of it. Yeah. If you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. Right. You don't got to think about that. I'm mean, like, we're all single, so let's just exchange gifts together. with each other. And That's cute. Brunch and, you know. That's a good so. alternative. Like, if you don't, if you can't find someone to cuddle, nobody's worthy, but then you can just hang out with your friends. Yeah. I'll be cuddle buddies, kind of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was like, uh, it's a little too far. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I will say, actually, I do know, and I'm going to say yes, because before I even got in the relationship I'm in now, I was not lovey-dovey, touchy-feely, any of that. I hate it. Still to this day, I'm like, eh. My family just doesn't do that. We don't walk in and be like, oh my God, hey, it's been one time, one time. Like, mm -hmm. We don't do that. So I didn't grow up like that. But okay. his family, all they do is hug. Mm -hmm. And all of his friends. They hug. Yeah. And I think it's so weird. The first time his dad hugged me, I was like, oh, we're hugging. <laughs> Cause yeah, like, I have that awkward hug. It's like yeah, that it's church. Like, oh. our, are mm. we touching? Oh, right the church here. hug. The church is like a side hug. I do a side hug and then also do like, the front is awkward for me. I yeah. do, I like side because the front is like, you're feeling are my boobs touching, yeah, yeah. touching you, touching yeah. you? Yeah. Like, so it's like, yeah. it's the church hug is always good. Yeah. But I will say ever since though, I feel like I've been extremely emotional. Aww, Ever since we told the past two years, <laughs> plug-in has turned me into a care bear and I don't like it. Let's be real. Girl. Are you getting emotional now? Am I? Uh, I think it's see. A little water. Like a little water guy. Aww. Yeah. Now with the key. Quick play. Quick play. Okay. Yeah. I would say yes too. Like I said, like, this is like the time where people get seasonal depression. It's cold outside, people are just like, I think it's a fact that people just get lonely around mm -hmm. this time. The holidays, That's and right. start thinking about like loved ones that are not here. So I feel like having somebody there at nighttime, I don't know, it does something to you. It releases those endorphins, endorphins, yeah. And it like does something to your brain chemically, I feel like. So I definitely think, I don't know, I'm not a psychologist. We are not a uh, right, disclaimer. But, uh, I feel like it definitely does something for your mental health. It's definitely not bad. It's definitely going right. Well. I don't think it's bad. <laughs> it's Unless they break up with you, they uncuff you yeah. during mm -hmm. cuffing season. But then you have to be a strong person and get over it, and you become stronger. So 
whatever. Let's see. Another question from the fellas. Shout out to Alan for that question. Um, do pretty girls get ghosted? I ain't never been ghosted, so I don't know. I've been ghosted. I've been ghosted, life. kind of. Like, <laughs> the person just, like, stopped responding to me and kind of was like... Hold on, what is ghosted? You know, when they ghost you. When they just leave you... Okay, so... Would, okay, I got on the date. We were going on the date, and I get there, and he's not there. Is that then ghosted? That's like, we got stood up. Then he let you know? No. Oh, so and then after we know he's no we talked before the date too. But that's how we knew where to meet. So you know what I'm saying like he didn't say, Oh, I'm I'm running late. Oh no, no, after that, yeah. And after we get part of No, no. That's just never ever been. Okay. Yeah, both of them go. Well damn. Damn, that's fine. So pretty much gave him a chance, right? See? He was a truck driver and I was like, I'm not gonna give a truck driver a chance. And I was like, no, don't be so shallow. Yo, I feel the same way though because the guy who ghosted me the one time I've been ghosted, he was pursuing me heavy. I wouldn't even think mm -hmm. about him. And then you ghost me? I'm but also, like, since I, mean, I feel stupid. like I'm a serial dater, so I don't really know if I get ghosted or if this thing's just fizzle away. Yeah. Like, because after a few days, it's like, mm. Well, if it fizzles away, I feel like that's mutual. If it's a mutual thing, yeah. That's yeah. not really ghosted. Okay. That's like y'all ghosted each other. Right? Yeah. yeah. This is like, yeah. Mutual ghosting. You're not that great. She came up with a name for that. I don't know. I can't think of one right now, but ghosting the ghoster. I don't know. Mm -mm. Well, you haven't that. dated enough. Wow. I yeah. think I have though. I've dated a lot, too much. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, yeah, I got ghosted once, and she just said she got ghosted once. So I guess the answer to the question is yes. 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 Ghosted. Yes. Yes. Ghosted. Anybody's capable. Like yeah. I mean, fine ass niggas get ghosted too. So yeah. Yeah. I've Everybody, I ghosted, ghosted a few. Yeah. yeah, and they was fine, but it, sometimes it's just to knock you back down. Yeah. It's a little too high. I gotta bring it. Mm. I feel that. So I guess this question is: It was a post about a guy being asleep. Then um, a guy asked me, "Why do women always assume the worst when a guy doesn't answer their phone?" Because you're doing the worst. What the fuck? Usually I'm because of past relationship trauma. Like, usually if a girl is tripping about you not answering the phone, it's because in the past that shit has happened and there was an actual reason for it. Yeah. It's usually not really because of you. I'm just being honest. Like, our generation, we're kind of traumatized when it comes to trust. Like, Drake said, like, who doesn't have trust? So you all automatically think, like, you go for, like, oh, he's with another female or, oh, my God, he's dead. Sometimes both, it just depends on if you're an insecure kind of person or if you're just an overly worry controlling kind of person mm -hmm. or maybe you're just really concerned with this person and like um, they're, they're, you're used to a certain conversation from them like you're used to them texting you like all oh, yeah. the time okay. and out of nowhere you know they're not responding right. okay. you might panic a little bit like see I don't know just like they do that a lot and you just, I don't know. So will you guys send a crazy text? Because what I've taught myself is type it out in my notes first mm -hmm. and leave it there because I feel like guys read the first sentence what? and don't, don't pay read attention. anything else. <laughs> yeah, so it's yeah. like type it out in my notes. What I usually do uh, is just go find something else to worry about or do and buy, like, you know, distract myself and then wait to see if they, like, after I've cleaned up or you know, read a book or something mm -hmm. like productive. I'm like, I'm just gonna do something productive because I'm pretty sure it's nothing and they haven't responded by then, then I might start like worrying. But I usually try to distract myself and do something productive. Like, this is not productive, me worrying about why they're not responding. How it could be anything. What's like, I guess, the most texts or phone calls you've done to a guy that didn't answer? Who's that you're like with? Mm. I've had a friend that said she called it like 35 times, like in the oh, evening. Well, cool. And no. then the next. Usually I've had that done to me. I don't think I've FaceTime that. and phone calls. Oh, right. Those are all the same. Okay, mm -hmm. so about 25. Did that a few months ago, matter of fact. Really? Uh -huh. Answer my call when I call you. What the fuck you doing? It's just like when you call your mom and she doesn't call answer. Call me sleeping. No, nah, you want to sleep. Answer See, I only call my mom once and I worry. I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll call again and miss it. No, no, I kind of. You gonna answer my call. I don't, I don't like to call back to back. But usually that happens to me. And I, I don't know, I usually block the person. I was also having a crazy night that night. So. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen a 
guy this guy went out with like two times but it was two times maybe like over the course of three months blocked them and he started calling private and was just like not answering the phone private and then we called from other numbers and then had people that people mutual that people out. reach out to me mm -hmm. it's like hmm. but he knew i was alive and nothing was wrong with me he's just like i don't want to talk to you so i feel like i probably have been that i just probably try to block it out my memory so i don't remember right now that's so long ago, you know, different me. But okay, I guess <laughs> kind of the first relationship I was in, I, I was a little crazy. This is my college relationship. Right. So I was, I was about, about college. 19, 20. I I was right, exactly. I'm not trying to think about that. Yeah, no. <laughs> I would, like, I would, I was the crazy girlfriend. Um, he lived in Georgia, so I wasn't pulling up. I was just about to say what I'm you gonna say. I was just about to say. I wasn't pulling up. He lived in Georgia. I wasn't pulling up. I didn't answer the phone, babe. I didn't call the police. I'm on the block. Pull up. I called the police on her. Skirt. Four. For what? Yeah, I called the police. Pull up. 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 Pull I was like, I knew, I knew all the like. Brittany secretly a white woman. <laughs> she, she's secretly a white woman. Well, I will do the white thing, okay? Because I'm a young Asian. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. Do the white, white thing. thing. Yeah, so I knew the loud markers and everything, what? the type of car. Wow, and so he's really? like, B, I just got pulled over. I was like, I told you I called the state troopers on you. Oh my gosh, you told him? I told him because I felt bad. I was like, oh shit, I did call the police on you. But you know what? He didn't get pulled over because of my state trooper call. What did he get pulled over for? A missing tail light. So I was like, it was nighttime. I kind of, I don't know. So was it a coincidence? It was. Oh, okay. But I was like, <laughs> so you told on yourself for nothing. Well, no, I wanted to let him know. He told <laughs> right. me he, he got right. pulled up, and I was just like, mm -hmm. yeah. Don't mess careful, with me. I don't do those things anymore. I'm yes. healed from that. From We're growing now. Yeah, grown <laughs> grown. I'm growing. What is that? Never mind. I was about to call you. That's, that's some childish girl thing. Yeah. We gotta go through that, though. You gotta go through all the right. you know, crazy, yeah, wild yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. so you can be a wise woman. Did you say you need a mountain mark? Yeah, I did. 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 I heard that for sure. God. He's love. He's just doing it this time. He should have this amount of mail. Right. Yep. He is right here. Except I mean, hey, you gotta heal. She said she's healed, y'all. He should be at the Calhoun exit right now. <laughs> we're still miles friends. over. We're yeah. Still, you're two miles over. Yeah. We're still friends. So obviously I wasn't. She's crazy. lying. She still does those things. I do not, cause I'm single. Like I have no one to do them to. We got pulled over. <laughs> He's not was he, was he He's not he not be? Like in your Instagram. Right. Hmm. All right. Did you do it right? I can't remember. Honestly, this was like 2007. Mm. So, ooh, that's a long time ago. Yeah, but he oh, called me. Yeah, He's so like, weird. "What the f, b? I just got pulled over." And I was like, <laughs> um, "But then it was like, I'm like, I was like, well, keep like, you know, don't hang up the phone." And now I'm like, kind of scared because I'm like, "Oh shit, it's black nighttime." He's a black man. Yeah, you're she a black don't call man. the cops on this black man. <laughs> oh. What was the reason? Because I, I said that briefly. Okay, because okay. he was go well not ghosting her, but not. He fine. would not answer my phone calls. <laughs> he's driving. Was he in your car? No, he he didn't start driving yet. He was still in his dorm room and I knew he was heading to, okay. to Chattanooga. No, no, why what did you tell the police was the reason? Like Ooh. what did you tell them He was missing? No. No. You just call it No, I don't wanna oh I don't I can, you were on live and this is recorded, <laughs> so hold on. No it's been recorded. <laughs> Oh. So like, oh, it don't matter. Okay, I said you can put it on live. I guess I said that there would be a blase 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 car with blase blase license plate 
Uh, and there would be pounds of weed in the trunk. Oh, oh my God. God. So, oh God. Um, the crime would be, you know, trafficking, trafficking across state lines. Yeah. Now, if they would have so just like not searched his car and just arrested him. Okay. <laughs> you better answer your phone when I call, Negro. Like, Ooh, don't make our his lesson then. He did. He answered the phone. Like, <laughs> I mean, you might have taught him a good lesson for his current. Most of the time, situation. they do be sleeping though. He wasn't sleeping. He was with another girl. How you know? Because I I, it, ended up, it, ended up, it ended up coming out, so I really didn't feel bad. Mm -mm -mm. So I just want you to know that that's your friend saying that. Uh, that's, that's I do not do those say. things anymore. But okay, okay sir, she's so lying. talking about some. She lying. Uh, I'm not lying. I'm born again. Like my mental is like totally the most. Now. It's it's totally different. But it's the most important thing to me because when I would do crazy <laughs> stuff like that, it put me in a bad head space. Yeah. So honestly, like it says, you love. I guess the idea of love is kind of true because I'm like, well, I don't want to fall in love because I've never been in love. And then this person hurts me. So if I just. But that's going to happen. You have to do what I do. Do what I do. It makes you appreciate the real love even more. I've never been in love. But you're afraid to fall in love because you're going to get hurt. That's At what point in your life did you get hurt? And what did you get hurt? I haven't. So, yeah. So how do you know you're going to get hurt? I don't know. But some those are things that happen. I, nothing is meant to be forever. So things okay, happen. So enjoy it while you can. I I'm gonna enjoy liking your ass a lot. Mm -mm. No love, love. You, you love yourself love. back here. You love love. I do love, love myself back. Why are you so, holding that up? Love. You holding yourself back here. Uh, You're well, dividing yourself I feel like, like that you really want the That's people crazy. that I've dated. I didn't miss love with them. How do you know? I just. I mean, some of them was cool. Yeah, they, they, were, they, were, they were cool, but just we all we keep in contact. So, like, we're friends, and like, how I see them, not to say they're gonna treat me that way, but how they do their relationships and just them as individuals. I'm like, oh, you love a little differently. I don't know if I want that type of love. So, yeah. I think you should give love a chance. I think you should. Uh, you guys sound like a love time. Or I mean, I I mean it, but you never change the channel. I don't watch Lifetime. That's listen. Once you I hate Lifetime. Lifetime. Movie, you're gonna <laughs> I hate Lifetime. You gonna watch it? You're invested. Oh, right. I, I hate Lifetime. 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 Some food no. in the bed. Ooh. And you might. And it's not gonna last for very long. But you're gonna enjoy it. I watch Law and Order. Exactly. And crime shows. That explains a lot. We got two months. Okay, yeah. A guy I, I, that I kind of dated, he did just buy me a Law and Order oh. DVD set. Oh. I was like, I gotta get a DVD He's player. He's the paper. All right. He you just said you love know Law and Order. I do, but I gotta get, he should buy me a DVD player too because I'm off the DVDs. Oh, what's the thought? It was. Yeah. You, gotta you, know, you, gotta you gotta meet him halfway. Yeah. You gotta get a DVD yeah. player, so. All right, I guess it's on my mama room. <laughs> 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 Crap, yeah. I was like, oh, you, you, think you know me. We haven't talked in like a year. So, funny story. He hit a mouse in his apartment. I don't like him no more. Yeah, and he he it came from the neighbors, way. right? Like, <laughs> it came from the neighbors. And so he put a sticky pad out. He was embarrassed by it. And I was like, okay, well, I just, as long as you put some sticky pads out, you know, cool. But a mouse got stuck on it, but it was struggling. And I was like, are you just going to let the mouse, like, oh. Ooh, I'm gonna spin it. Struggle. Mm. So I took a can of air freshener and hit the mouse in the head because I wanted to put it out. It's so so y'all tag team already. Look at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's why he didn't want to date me anymore because he's like. No, you're a real one because you didn't like judge him for it. You actually helped him. Like he should have. Right. So that's what my girl might have been, like, been like. I saw right. I'm, I'm, I'm out. out. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm not going to crazy. It didn't. Hey, it didn't. He didn't know. I hate to see it. She said, oh, you got right. 
<laughs> oh, you got rats. And this is why. I don't know. Because no. And it's nothing why I don't like going over people's houses. Because I'm afraid you're going to see a rat. No, I don't like just going. I don't want to sit at your house. Unless your house is super duper fun. I don't want to come to city of house and watch TV. So <laughs> my boyfriend sounds comfortable. Have a house fun. Okay. Like, you have to be super fun. fun. <laughs> right. So, so other though. than that, like, why would I get dressed to come over your house and do what I? You gotta get dressed with like cozy, like sweatpants. That means yeah, I have like, to put on clothes. No makeup. Okay, never mind. I can just lay in my bed, butt naked, yeah, like. Digging my nose, fart, and just have a good time. But then well, you have to, to tell everybody. It, <laughs> passing gas is a natural thing. You had to tell me it was digging in your nose, but naked in your bed. I mean, passing gas on the covers, lifting it up, and then smelling it. I can't do that over someone's house. I gotta hold it in. Jeez. You don't have to. Well, once you wrap it up, you don't have to. So, but you guys wanted love and first, though, so you had months of holding it in. Yeah, you're right. I let my first guest go when he first was in my apartment when we weren't even together in New York. Oh, oh it, purpose? It's like, I mean, it just slip out, or did you. You know how, you know, sometimes it's right there. And. That was. In that moment, I said, I can get up and go to the bathroom, or. I can let it out and see if he a real nigga. She's still here. Yeah. Um, it must not smell so oh, bad. Oh no, because my parts are funky. Oh. I've never that was doing my, I was eating a lot of meat other. too. Yeah, them parts is funky. But he's still here. I never fought around my significant other, but it wasn't on purpose. Like, I just haven't been around yes. him when I've had gas. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I thought about it though. <laughs> he thought about uh, cooking some chili. I was like, mm, this might be the day. <laughs> This is it. <laughs> so a guy I dated, we we hit it off. I was so comfortable with him, I would use the restroom with the door open. Mm. That's love. Right? Is. No, you never been in love? I don't think sure? it's love. I was just that sounds like love. Sounds like, right? So in my house, <laughs> real comfortable. I poop with the door open, nobody's there. At your house? Yeah, I just the door's your open. house. So we were so comfortable, I was at his house and I was like, okay, the door's open. No shut doors around Don't here. Don't do that. <laughs> you, know, you, not doors. Doors. <laughs> you will not be cuffed for the rest of the year. Right. Like, can we can we that. stop telling people about you flicking boogers and? Am I own? We said Brittany is getting love 2019. We, we are. He has to tonight. love me yeah, boogers so and all because I'm gonna love him there. boogers and all. Let him get there. But in cuffing season, you gotta just be. You gotta come clean smell okay good. so yes. okay cuffing season <laughs> warm and soft you know okay, but so i feel like so since cuffing season is during the winter months yeah. there will be chili in beans that's true and that if is you're so season, it may be a little gas so you have to go to the bathroom yeah you, it's too soon you gotta it's like too soon. We trying to, you gotta like love me or be close to loving me. You gotta have. I gotta have you right where I want you, and then I just like. You ain't going nowhere. Shut up. I gotta. Go. <laughs> let me let this out. Yeah, Chill. smell this part. Like, too. Mm, you be yeah. alright. You love me. Let me fart in the car. But y'all just saying though, cuffing season. If you make it through it, then that's how you know it's the one. Right. So get to cuffing season. For, get there though. Get a month in. Because you don't. Oh, okay. Like, you, you just don't let it all hang out. Yeah. Yeah. If they work it, if they work it, because they're at the end of the day they're guys, and, and they're gonna be stuck. No offense to y'all, but y'all are very like, which is simple. So. I feel like a lot of men fart and they sleep. So, um, oh yeah, that happens a lot. So is that a deal breaker then? Since you like, you gotta get to know them. Yeah. What if he lets one out during his sleep? I have a very. If I'm sleep, then I guess I won't smell it. I mean, maybe you up. You hear it. I mean, you hear it. <laughs> or it awakens you. Like, like, uh, like, ooh, like, I was dating this guy, and uh, y'all know the guy, but I'd rather not. Um. Anyway, hanging out at his apartment, right? Watching some TV. Mm. Laying there, and I went to sleep. Cool. But I fell asleep like the opposite way. So, like, it was like one of them sectional couches. Okay. Fell asleep going this way. He's sitting up here by my feet. My feet was propped up on him like 
And I woke up because I felt the fart coming out. Hey. Oh. And it wasn't that was powerful. It wasn't like a, a little. I know you felt it. It, wasn't, it, <laughs> it really came out and I didn't know what to do. So like <laughs> my eyes like, <laughs> I was like, oh, like and then down. I like closed my eyes again because I'm like, I gotta act like I'm still asleep. He he literally was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And I'm still so was you, bro? <laughs> and he done got up, got some spray, and then I'm like, damn, <laughs> damn, I really just did this. <laughs> Shit. He come at, hold on, so did you? Oh, you, you farted. farted. I farted. I oh, was not going to I was not going to talk she was on heat I was not going to I was not I had to let it go. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, we the say we're not dating anymore, so. And you was on the opposite the side of his name. Right, right to his nose. Dang. Are you alive, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? But I was like, we're the one. Exactly. Yeah, they cool. But not the one. Mm. But I will say, that's not a deal breaker for me. It's kind of funny if you fart in your sleep. To me. Damn, we talked about farting way too much on this right. podcast. Sorry. <laughs> Let me fart. Yeah, guys. We Which did. glass is mine? Oh, damn. I, I checked the lipstick. My lipstick is shit. That is really helpful. This one. It's mine. That was yours. Makes more sense, right? Yeah, it's closer to you. Oh, it does make sense. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. just like, I'm let them figure it out. Yeah. That makes more sense. They're smart, too. Yeah. I picked it up for no reason. We are smart. <laughs> and I had to have a bottle at this point. I need you. I'm going to finish it for a little Bro, you checking yourself out. No, I was just <laughs> I told y'all I can barely see. I'm just trying to see if anybody's saying anything. I can't read that. Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to look over there. There's something up there. You can't see And No, I can't. I can't see. It was just like she was glasses, her, being curved. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed so. to wear glasses. I do not. Like I never wear them. I hope everyone yeah. has a good cuffing season mm -hmm. now. Right. We do hope you all have a fabulous cuffing season. It is in full effect. Mm -hmm. Please send out your cuffing applications because you gotta find bae. Brittany. I told y'all just Google something. Bacon and eggs. They out there. But I'm trying to be a vegetarian, so it's gonna be easy. It's crazy because cuffing season really is a real thing. I know. Like, Great <laughs> started. I Googled it and there were so many articles and like stuff about it. I'm like, oh wow. Hmm. Everybody participates in cuffing season. Whether they know it or not, it could be subconsciously. Like you just you know, narrowing down to the person you really like and you don't realize it's because you're kind of lonely and cold. Let's do rest. Or take that vacation Ooh, yes. to a warm place. I love vacations. And you don't have to be cooked. I'm going on vacation next month and I just realized it's cold as fuck. Where are you going? South Lake Tahoe. Oh. It ain't shit but snow. Right. I'm leaving the cold to go to Moco. Mm -hmm. See, last year I was shit. in Jamaica. So I was like, I don't need a man. I got the sand. <laughs> I don't need a man. Nice I got okay. Hey. <laughs> What'd you nice. say? Nothing. <laughs> It'll be nice to have both, is what she said. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's it. That's all. Whole I guess that is it for the first episode of the Grown Woman Podcast. Woo! Don't forget to like. Share, subscribe, ask us some questions, come holla at us because you know what's up. Mm -hmm. Once again, we want to say <laughs> thank you to the artificial makeup and photo for allowing us to use <laughs> for allowing us to use your space. It is fabulous. I love it. it is. Okay. Yes. I plan on coming to get beat a little bit. <laughs> okay. But don't forget, everybody, to go also follow the artificial makeup and photo where reality becomes fantasy. Fantasy, yeah. fantasy, fantasy becomes, becomes reality. Becomes reality. <laughs> makes more sense. That makes oh, way more sense. Right, it does. Oh, so, well. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We should you. have a theme song. Yeah. Champagne. We should have a theme song. Well, that's it. You know where you can find us. Peace out. <laughs>